Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarpin, PhD in Accounting. And one more video about budget. We have some videos about budget. They are all uh, in our video description. So go there if you want to check any other video about budget. And today our topic is cost of goods sold budget. When we talk about budget, we are talking about Excel. And if you are a regular here, you already know that. If you are new to our channel, I want to let you know that all of our Excel files, they are free. And the link is uh, uh, for download is in our video description. When we talk about cost of goods sold, we are talking about production costs. And production costs, we are talking about direct materials, direct labor, manufacturing overhead. And we have variable costs, direct material, direct labor, and variable manufacturing overhead, and fixed costs. The best way to find our cost of goods sold is to find it per unit or per case here, because with this number, we can find our inventory, our cost of goods sold, and so on. So here we are talking about the production costing. Direct materials and to do that, we need our previous budgets here. And we have videos about all of these budgets here in our channel. Direct material number one, what do we have? We need seven units or seven pounds of direct material number one to produce one unit. Each one costs four dollars and fifty cents. So to produce one. You need we, we, we need thirty-one dollars and fifty cents of direct material number one. Direct materials number two, the same math. We need one point five pounds. Each pound costs six dollars and fifty cents. So nine dollars and seventy-five cents per unit. Direct labor, we need two point five hours per unit. Each hour costs 18, so 2.5 times 18. And okay. Variable manufacturing overhead. What do we have here? Indirect materials, 2.75 per case. So we could put this number in one cell, it would be easier. So 2.75. Here, indirect labor, 2.5. Variable utilities, 0 0.4. 0 0.4, our given numbers. And the total of variable manufacturing overhead is the sum of this individual manufacturing overhead. And our cost per case here, we can sum it. 91.9 if we are talking only about variable costs. How do we do the fixed manufacturing overhead? Now we need to do the total. So manufacturing overhead, fixed manufacturing overhead here, 476. Beautiful. A production volume, we need the production here. Production volume 309 and 0.3. So our fixed manufacturing per case will be 476 divided by 309. So 1.54. So our total cost per case will be 93.44 cents per unit. And we need this number for uh inventories, and for cost of goods sold. Okay, guys. So thank you so much. If you have questions or comments, leave it here. Or email me at jscarping at gmail.com. Subscribe our channel, like our Facebook page, and like this video. So guys, have a very nice day, and God bless you all.